Parma, Ohio is just outside Cleveland. Population 81,000. The police department there does things a little differently. For example, to deal with the homeless population, they posted on Facebook. The Parma Police Department is pleased to announce that it will be introducing a new temporary law that will forbid residents of Parma from giving any homeless person food, money, or shelter. This is an attempt to have the homeless population eventually leave our city due to starvation. Then there was the food drive to benefit teen abortion. Free teen abortions would be offered. However, a parental note was required. Of course, this isn't the Parma Police Department, but a parody account run by Anthony Novak. The real police department was not pleased or abused. They arrested Anthony and threw him in jail. That's his mugshot. He's out of jail and joins us now. Anthony, it's nice to see you. Okay. The, Few of them were funny, poor taste. My mother would, would not approve. I'm sure yours didn't either. Uh, but why were you arrested for it? I was arrested because I made the page. And apparently 10 or 11 people, I think, called the police to report that the page existed. So they used that as their excuse to arrest me, even though it was all my speech. That's what I'm confused by, because distasteful speech is... The, is protected by the First Amendment. And when you read these, they're obviously parodies and false and silly. And if somebody at 80 years old sees it on Facebook and decides this is real, isn't that kind of their problem? That is kind of their problem. And the real reason I was arrested is because they were offended. They went this entire process. They did every step of the way to make sure I would go to jail. They lied to the grand jury even. What, what did they lie to the grand jury about? So, so they, they didn't come and arrest you. They actually went and tried to indict you? So, yes, they came. I was leaving a grocery store, and they came, and they arrested me. They said, Anthony Novak, and they took me to jail after saying it's because of the fake Parma Police Facebook page. So they drove me to jail, and then I had to go through this entire court process, and they have to go to the grand jury to make sure you can actually be prosecuted for the charge they put on you. And in that grand jury testimony, which we have, Thomas Connor told the grand jury without ever being asked that I didn't do parody. This was not parody. Maybe I meant to do parody, but I didn't do parody. So he knows what I was doing. <laughs> I, I, I just, is Parma, Ohio that nice of a place that this is the best thing the police department has to do with their time? No. <laughs> they could do a lot of other things. And there was an act of heroin epidemic at the time. Well, yeah, they're still in mean, Ohio is, is a, uh, sadly has a huge heroin and, and fentanyl and over an overdose problem. I, I just uh, here we'll, we'll give the police their due. Take a listen. Sure. You post things and the materials on there. I don't want to get into discussing them in detail, but frankly, they're crude, they're demeaning and they're very inflammatory. Our concern right now is public safety. There's a fine line between satire and endangering the public. You know, and I think these individuals and this particular website has crossed over in the line. How did you endanger the public? I didn't endanger the public at all. I think that's an excuse they use. Generally, I've seen this excuse used before to arrest someone huh. for doing what they don't like. Yeah. Anthony, uh, we're going to reach out to the cops and see if they want to come on and talk. It'd be fun. Um, uh, we'll check in on your Facebook postings. You're a good sport to be on here. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll see you back in a minute. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.